We're in there. Alrighty. Dude, that would be so sick. If you're in town, man, more play more people we can get to register the better. Yeah. You remember Dad Kelly, right? Well. He came to like one weekly, but he's uh friends with Fatty Chef and them. Mm. He's uh from San Fran or he's he's in Cali for college, I think. I think I, think I do remember him. I may have been yeah. there cuz it was like that weekly we had a bunch of people from the Fatty crew show up. Yeah. So that's uh that's who G2 King Nation is. Ah. <laughs> His dad Kelly. Well, what are they going to go do for game 1? Um wow, they're they're going at it, man. Uh, I don't know if you saw my uh, set with game. Fatty, but it was really good. I, I did get to see a bit of it. Um, was he going? He went all crack. Yeah. Um, I I was down in the first game and the first stock of game three, and like the first game, I just had like a couple really good stocks to close it out. But okay. he was he was playing super solid the entire set. Dude, the Fatty crew has turned up a lot today. Mm -hmm. uh, we have Chef who almost knocked out a bossy, which would have been legendary. Straight up, just a bracket demon. Yeah. Upset. He's getting closer every time he fights him. I think a lot of people are, which is really cool to see. Yeah. It shows how, like, our scene is adapting and, and learning. Exactly. It, it, it's like everyone's helping each other rise up and get better. And that's why at Cold Snap we'll see a, a, a lot of AZ upsets, baby. I hope so. I, that's one of my favorite things to see is that unknown player named Chompy. <laughs> yeah, that was so cool because now it's like Chomper just goes out and it's like, well, people know who he is now. Yeah. He's good. Oh, that was so tight. Oh my gosh. Fatty's like, you know what? Yeah, dude, that was that was that was tight. <laughs> Fatty plays a nice orcane. He sees it. He respects it. That yeah. was pretty cool. Yeah, because normally you see that into up air, but uh, Breadstick recognized he could get the sweet spot of back air. That was just that was hot. That was a hot combo. So I was talking with Breadstick earlier, and it was interesting hearing his uh, opinion on this matchup. Right? We were discussing a little bit, just like strategizing. Like, so what are you thinking of doing then? And. Um, he said he wants to play, this sounds very counter to what you're watching here, a slower game yep. in that he wants to not let Craig get that first hit in. Right? Yeah, exactly. Because Craig's hitboxes beat out a lot of Orcanes. And then Orcanes that weird like weight where he's really easy to combo too. Because as you know, and maybe some people on the stream do too, I, dr I originally was an Orcane main, and the reason I picked up Forsburn initially was for this matchup. Because I was a scrub and hated it. Um, and, like, you know, good crags are good crags, but, like, I was even losing to bad crags with my Orcane. And uh, it's just, it's so weird. You, like, you have to play it so different. And until you, like, figure it out, it's, like, a nightmare. And Red seems, like, dead set. He's like, I know exactly what I need to do. Well, how do you need to play? I need to play exactly like how I played him last time and just win this time. Now that was, like, the best way to describe it. Like, okay. all right, you know what? You got a game plan? You got a game plan. I recognize it, dude. And look at that. It's keeping it really close because... I think the um, last couple times they played, like before last week, it was not even close. But like last week, it got closer. And it's just like like we said with everyone else. They get closer every time they play, man. And that's so cool to see. Just, Absolutely. just watching these players evolve and improve. And seeing the Fatty crew never slacking. They're always like at the forefront of that. Just like, you got to get past us. You have to beat us. Ooh, we threw out the down strong and the animation started, but did not come out with the hitbox. Why, dude. Wow. He does have a double jump. Does have a double jump, and that back air is actually really, it hits really high. It does. So, like, you don't even need to double jump out of a wall jump most of the time to get the first hit. So you can just get some good damage instead. Ooh, yep, was not respecting the puddle spacing. To be and fair, uh, I, Brett, I didn't even think of where it was either. <laughs> you always got to. If you're in this matchup, you always got to know where that puddle is. It's a good place for puddle to be, especially if you're on the other end of the stage. Craig is not a very fast boy. Another thing he said is he doesn't want. Uh, that was crazy. Ooh, that was so good. He so doesn't. Uh, oh yeah. Grounded bubbles don't slow down Crag like they used to, but fair bubbles do. Huh. And so, like that's why you saw that really weird interaction there. It's like bubbles hitting him, but like only sometimes got affected by it. That's super strange. Yeah, because down B used to be like the anti Crag tech. It was just like every time he tries to side B the stage, he just down B, and he literally just stops in his tracks with down B. That's but uh, Breadstick taking that first game gets the kill off the top on Rock Wall. At his own home. And Rockwall is such an explosive sage. You go there and you can just, you could die at some pretty low percents. But both of them could. I mean, it's Craig. Absolutely. And uh, the double ban goes for banning Rockwall, or not Rockwall, uh, Treetop Lodge. I can't speak 
words are tough. We had this words earlier. Words are tough, dude. Go, yeah, but he, he bans uh, FD we go the and opposite Treetop. Of the, uh, we're going to go to the opposite of the stage we were just on. I'm going to go to a big open stage. It's yep. a little trickier to kill on. After playing Bumble Bomb and AZ cards, I have learned that... And actually, the first game, uh, or his first Ooh. counter pick... Oh, he, he parried, dude. so he was still actionable. Super good. Breadstick looking to Smart end things quick. Holy cow. And um, we have a 80% lead. This is nuts. But <laughs> as I was Fun. saying, like I've learned to ban this stage against Krags because really? like it's just so big, and he just doesn't die. Krag that's never true. die, man. A lot of people want to go here. To, you know, I'm dying really early from Krag. Let's go to a stage that's nice and big so we won't die. And the Krag's sitting there like, you think you won't die. <laughs> that's why it's like it's almost be it's better to have like a smaller stage. It's like you know what, you're gonna die at those percents almost like on a big stage anyway because he just hits like a truck. He's a big boy. You want to have something to to end his life. Oh, oh, and bringing it right back. This is what I'm talking about. He had a huge lead, but Krag never die. But that's kind of how you have to start this matchup. You get in on Krag, you combo him forever, and then you either kill him, right? Or he just lives forever and then or, he kills you. Yeah, <laughs> now he's going to stay alive. And we got that. Might as well be Smash 4 Rage, man. Like, Shout out to Dunk showing us that tech forever ago. Which one? Uh, where you parry the downbeat and he runs off the platform and so nothing happens. good. Because uh, that just happened on his, uh, on his new stock. So good. So good. Um, Breadstick still got a 54% punish afterwards, though. So, you know, not that the best, good. It was but good it was play, just good, yeah. yeah. It's just a good option. But if you can't cover it, you can't cover it, Yep, right? and I, I see you, dude. Like, that's Oof. that's the dunk tech, man. Daddy, racking up some percent Ooh. quick. Yeah, but this is looking good, man. Looking very close game, honestly. Uh, it looks like he traded with the uh, – not even traded. He just hit it. <laughs> oh, parries the bubble, but oh, my God. <laughs> That parry stun was non-existent from working in there. What the heck? Did he get hit? Like, did no? He just like I think it was because he parried a really early bubble. There was less parry stun, because I, I believe it's kind of like uh, I correct me if I'm wrong, chat. But no absolute cloud. I know this for a fact. The longer it goes out, like the further she throws it, the uh, longer the parry stun. Just like Edelus icicles, the further they travel, the more parry stun you're in. Huh. Um, but I think it might be the same thing with bubbles, where if you parry a later bubble, he's in more stun. I think. I can, I can see it. Don't quote I, me. A lot of the time I watch people parry bubbles, it's a late bubble. Wow. So. He DI'd probably towards his own plat his uh, his rock there, and just Breadstick got on the side of him that wouldn't let him do it. That was really good positioning. It's so scary. He just got forward smash at 80, and I... Uh, and he, yeah, he almost died. <laughs> I, I held my breath for a sec there. Yeah, the mailbox closed, baby. And he's slowing it down right here, throwing out some of these fair bubbles uh, right at the ledge. He's like, I don't want, I don't want to go in right now. The cool thing is he's slowing it down, but he's not, he's not as aggressive as it might look. That roller was pretty freaking aggressive, though. Ooh, I think he was in hit stun that entire time. I think so too. That was terrifying. Because oh, there's no ceiling techs, yeah. There's it. no ceiling techs in rivals, so uh, Damn. bounces off the the bottom of that rock Damn. and just in parry stun almost or hit stun almost the entire way down. But uh. I, I liked what he was doing. He was slowing the match a bit. He was like, okay, you know what? I'm actually behind. Let me not be behind. Let me bubbles, back away, take a little bit of stage, mm -hmm. and just kind of inch your way across the stage. Just kind of take stage control from Craig any way you can. Absolutely. <coughs> and now thinking long and hard about this second ban. He won on rock wall. Uh, so there you go. Yep. DSR, baby. And it's curious that um, he bans... Blazing Hideout, because that's another big stage, too. That's what I was thinking. Another Crag Never Die type situation. But, Breadstick choosing to go with Aramata. I dig it. Crag die off the top early on this one. It's very true. And he's been getting a lot of aerial, a lot of kills off the top. And I think another thing this lets him do is uh, just cover high on that top platform with his back air. He has the ability to like cover the high... high uh <gasps> oh, my God! He has the ability to cover the Guy high vanished. pillar and also do that. Oh, dear oh, Lord. Counter pick coming in handy. We have seen the stage a lot today. Yes, we have. Like even off stream, I uh, I was playing bread. This was our game. Oh three. my god! Oh, he does an up B back. Bread. That combo was so good. All he had to do was up B back to his puddle and just doesn't right, get the input not out. Die. Yeah. Like actually. I, maybe he thought he had a double jump still. Mm, but uh, bash double. I've definitely been in that spot before. Yeah, unfortunate. Or an anything. Because now Fatty has the chance to bring it back after such a commanding beginning. And now, Breadstick. Wow. This game just took such a U-turn. Yep. The stage is such a double-edged sword, man. Like You, you, you think you're getting the cheese? You yep. 
could stand. It could just be a dead. You could just be dead at like 30 from getting hit. Both these characters have up airs that just devastate off the top. And <laughs> Craig with his makeshift uh, platform that he can just put up there gets an up tilt on it and kills you at freaking 50%, man. I uh, love that tech. Yeah, one thing Breadstick should have done there is ran to the other side of him on the parry. Ooh. Because that means he probably would have caught him by surprise because he's going to be DIing towards the rock. And so then he he just goes straight up and, and die. Died. Yep. He did get the punish though. He did get he the did. stock. Though this is a pretty big difference in percent, but hitting Craig at low percent isn't too bad. Oh my goodness. Oh, that, was, that parry bait was, was so was slick. Two. He did it again. He did it before that too. Dude, he's in his head. I, that's that's where you need to be when you're uh, not even that far behind anymore. But nope. Is, uh, oh, <laughs> that could have oh. been it. Had he Fatty parried. got out the parry and goes for the parry on the that back air landing. Everything. Holy cow. It's like he missed that parry on the side. He was like, <sighs> I just kind of keep doing it, man. I'm going to get one of these. And, like, you know, when you get in someone's head on their parrying and they keep doing it, it's so scary. Keep punching them. Yeah, you got to keep punishing them. But, like, if they, like, I notice sometimes Fatty increases in volume the amount he parries after you catch on to it. Yeah, it's and then it nuts. catches you off. It's like, oh, God, there's so many. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, the parry delay. That doesn't matter if you get hit, right? If you get hit, you can do it again? Yes. <coughs> That's correct. DIing in on all the jabs. All the hits. Got 54% for it. Jab, 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 up till jab, jab. Dude, jab, jab, OP. Wants to see that jab three mix up there. Ooh, oh gosh. good air dodge. Getting but an air out quick, too. percent here. Uh-oh. No puddle. And uh, just goes above the platform. That was really good because Fatty was reading the uh, yeah, side B onto it. Land on the platform, get up there, obviously. Same here. But hey, this is putting him in a pretty good spot. Pretty much so equivalent percent. So that's one thing that Breadstick can really capitalize on in this matchup. <sighs> he tried um, to rely on the pillar beam there. He did. Um, he he needs to capitalize on being able to go off stage, even when Craig's at a low pillar area. Oh, oh. there we go. But like, yeah, he needs to be comfortable when Craig has a pillar close to the stage because that's usually the safest place for Craig to put a pillar and if you can take away that safety from him it's really key did you watch him just wait until I he did. saw and he was like no you might move make <laughs> sure this hits you <laughs> my hitbox is going to come out in time I just need to make sure you're in the right spot absolutely no I, I can totally see that just be a little more willing to chase Craig so right punish his his recovery looks a lot better than it is. Exactly. And, like, right there, like, that was good because he had already established the pillar, so he was just waiting for him to come back on. But, like, I'm talking about right as he throws out that pillar off stage, hugging the wall, that's when uh, Breadstick needs to. Oh, that was Ooh, nice. Perfect so height. I got my resources, dude. But, yeah, that's when Breadstick needs to go out there, man. Oh, totally and the forward strong oh, just raw. Oh, there it, there it is. There it is. Kind of backed oh, off. Backed he was off. Scared. Yep. He didn't know what move was going to send him out. That's the that's the uncomfortability I'm talking about. Like if if he was comfortable in the matchup enough, he would have continued that until Craig was dead. Fine, yeah. yeah, he could have dared him again because there's no way he would have got parried. He could have back aired and got a soft hit back air and yep, probably oh, caught yeah. him DIing in and just kept it going. I can see that too. Like honestly, he had options there. Yep. But he got scared. And honestly, it's it's very understandable. It's just something that like that's what, if I'm him watching this vod. Right that's now, that's, that's that's your next thing you got to work up work on in this matchup. And we are even stocks here. 50%, not much of a lead, not on Craig. Ooh, di in with, again. Not uh, with in. If you di in on jabs, uh, jabs and forward tilts from Craig oh gosh. and down tilts, he builds percent so fast. It's actually insane. I love the bubbles there. But I don't love that Ooh. side. That was terrifying, man. I thought if he we were seeing off air, I think that would have been it. Oh, God. Back air. Forward oh. strong, off stage. Oh, excellent okay. use of fastball okay, there so from Fatty, getting that established pillar. This could be anyone's game right now. A down tilt up strong will take close. it if... Uh, and they're both, like, doing weird things. Yep. We can Ooh. see Fatty side being a lot. He's, he's nervous. Wow. That up strong nervous, caught man. the side B and stopped him in place and gave him enough time to just dash forward and dash cancel F strong. Nuts. Ugh. Dude, I love this game. I love everything about this fucking game. I love you guys. Yeah. He loves you guys in chat, too. I hate Atlas, <laughs> but I love Matt. <laughs> Chopper's just sitting there like, oh, he, he, he likes us. I hate Atlas. All right, well. He's like, well, that was expected. I was waiting for it. <laughs> what is this little dude? The little dude's like I don't know. He was here last week, too. Weeks, yeah. I like him.
He yeah. reminds me of the little like Pokemon from uh, Amazing Discoveries that I got. Oh, okay. See that? A little charm. A little charm guy. I don't know what he's from. Yeah, I think a little a little opening. No oh, wait, wait, it says something. Glios. What does that on the other side? Bit figs? Huh. Well, eight bit figurines is what I'm guessing, looking at the back of it. <laughs> Yeah, I was thinking just because of the, the people that normally show up here, that it's going to be Roblox because they're little kids. <laughs> I mean, I Smash could 4? totally have seen that, but... Yeah, but I don't know, man. And uh, Fatty Ooh, going to going Neo, Very Fire Capital. At first, I was a little bit... I love the Sage from beginning to end, but I was at first a bit distracted by the Sage, but now that I've played on it more... Yeah, it's really like not that bad in terms of distraction. Though, technically, if you don't want to play on it as a counter pick, you can say no. Uh, same Makes with sense. the Swampy Estuary. Um, RCS rules say that those are gentleman agreement only, so that's how we play here too. And that makes sense to me. I mean, I generally I won't ever be against it, but I've only said no a couple times, and that's usually on the first game of the set. Just so you can make sure you're actually warming into it. Yeah, exactly. Like you're warming into it. Oh boy, fatty. Oh Take my god, yeah. Stalk. That was quick. Yeah, I actually don't like going to this one first, but I don't mind Swampy Estuary ever. So I that's like that. yeah. It, I don't know. It's just kind of like a quirk. But 69% on Fatty and just Looking building it. Swamp Yesterday is not ugly. What the heck? You're wrong. I will say, I used to really dislike CEO, but at this point, I like like all the stages. CEO, I just, like, I don't mind the platforms anymore because, like, you know, people thought they were, like, weird. And me being one of those two. I just think it's just an ugly stage now. <laughs> like, I'm saying, I mean, they've gotten so much better since. The yeah, game. Like, like you can see the difference between like a reskin like this compared to like CEO's like not really bad reskin, but just like it just looks low quality compared to something like this. Very true. And, and on that Fatty note, building Fatty so much is percent. Just keeping him. He's just keeping the pressure. He's not letting bread recover from that first stock. Ooh, that's what excellent. Oh, smart. And that's what you want to do, though, right? If you're Fatty, you got that lead. You want to hold it. Uh, I think Trofes confirmed to have bad opinions. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say that I heard some some play. Oh, whoa, wow, okay. Some good player or some commentator said something like this, right? It's trying to phrase now. Well, it's gone, <laughs> boys. It's gone. It's done. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. What differentiates a good player from a low-level or mid-level player is their ability to play with the lead. Yeah, Fatty is so good at playing with a lead. Yes, he, he is. When he has a lead, he just he knows that he doesn't have to do certain things anymore. Oh, that was so smart on Breadstick. He threw a puddle. Yep, he's got the puddle on his pillar. That was so good. And now there's no... That was so good. 16 he, he, he threw a droplet boys. down on that pillar. And like I was like, I wonder if that's going to come back into play. Then Fatty didn't land. And he took care of him. No. But forward strong at 83% on the ledge will take it. Game 5 hype. That 